Hey everyone, today we are going to be modeling the hand grip on the screen. You see, let's start then. We are opening a new part document and creating two circle with 20 mm inner diameter and 28 mm outside diameter will be extruded. 113 millimeter. <coughs> Second thing that we are going to do to create two plane 3 millimeter from the surface. We are clicking the surface and changing direction. In the first plane, again, will be our 28 millimeter diameter. In the second plane, we are going to have our ellipse form. Let's look to our normal. This dimension will be fifty point five. Okay. Now we are going to create our, uh, uh, our other arcs, which is going to be used for loft operation. Diameter, not important. This dimension will be 3.5. There will be other one. At the other side, I'm going to mirror it quickly, as you see. Le yes, that's fine. And we are going to create other uh, curves. Will be one more uh, same kind of uh, form. <coughs> Point point control coincident and circle point pierce with control button. Now we are going to create main form of curve from here thirty one millimeter uh, thirty two millimeter. We are starting with an uh, arc that will be tangent. The size will be 50. I should give this point Pierce relation to fix radius. Yeah. Sorry, it's with this 40. And another. arc which is given as you see and two more arc I'm not using so much uh, spline tools because spline tools are not trustable in modeling when you are changing uh, dimensions when you are making revisions on your project that's your really painful as you see, add, I add only uh, arcs. E, yeah. And there should be here a Pierce relation. Uh, Something is a problem. We are going to change it. It again, same arc. Firstly, tangent and tangent to this one. If it is problem, we will add again tangent. 
as soon as possible they should a little bit simulate like they are in the real one how it should be yeah arc for this 250 this is 300 uh, sorry not possible 300 160 and the arc which is here 60 as you see model is done according to your wish you can make some difference if you want in these arcs by trying different values that's fine now we are now we are going uh, going to create lofted feature and adding a selection manager my guide curves and last curve here as you see our model is done uh, the thing now we are going to make it is offset surface which is 1.5 meter uh, we are going to create our form uh, cutting form uh, sketches from here one with the 50 40 we are going to add one tangent relation maybe we can look bigger yeah that's looking better uh, there will be seven millimeter one uh, offset one radius with three millimeter and adding tangent with control uh, button from the, our uh, keyboard I'm adding these relations uh, this will be three millimeter as I told you before, uh, depends on your wish. This uh, arcs can be changed. You should only think. You should only try. Maybe you are going to have better results with that. Uh, I'm adding uh, one more uh, offset for my and uh, to keep them uh, on their position. I'm going to make that things fixed and take the dimension back up. Better we are adding and then giving uh, it control to adding relation concentric value. I'm going to add when you make offset, they are behaving together, acting together, and this is done with again three millimeter radius uh, I'm adding tangency from here to end one arc uh, on the corner I am making constant and dimension from here 10 arc 150 uh, I'm going to yeah, it is okay. From here was six. Oh. From in total twelve. One more uh, line here. Uh, this uh, will be. 2.5 and here will be a tangent and I'm adding uh, another sketch another arc and then going to make radius yeah 3 millimeters will be fine yeah that's fine as you see yeah something like this will be on the screen make fixed uh, 160 will be 
output. Now last finger uh, points. Uh, what I'm doing? Making offset on this line five millimeter and uh, bringing my arcs here. Problem to me. Let's make it higher. Six. I'm going to fix this point and adding another one. Again, this point fixed. As you see. They are looking not bad. Uh, let's give them radius three millimeter again. Yes. Uh, and last cutting. Yeah, I can cut with uh, normal plane here. There is a plane here. First, I am cutting unnecessary surface here, delete, and then the figures that we made, we are splitting our body surface with projection, and we are removing the delete face command, unnecessary areas. Uh, it taken. We are giving our thickness a uh, little bit more. I'm going to give to easily combine with the surface. Sometimes with an uh, exact value not working, and or there are some problems happening. Yeah. Here uh, everything done, and uh, we are going to create here some fillets. Uh, Transition fillets, which makes yeah better surface. I'm going to uh, cut inner diameter because after loft uh, it lost. That's fine. And here fillet will be uh, 2.5 with a small chamfer on the face. Here also uh, two millimeter. Let's make an chamfer for the whole surface, outer surface. I'm going to give uh, one millimeter uh, radius. Depends on your uh, uh, how to say style. You can give different values. And here also there is one surface which we can give a better transition radius uh, it's 5 I made before exactly fillet at 1 1 ah sorry we were choosing all surface instead of by picking each corner one millimeter, one millimeter here. Yeah. 
exactly it is fine and uh, the last thing I'm going to do I'm going to create here some little dots 90 millimeter from the uh, our plane I'm opening here a plane and cutting one little uh, make a little cut here if I'm right this value was 30 uh, uh, 35 then and adding a semicircle and coincident yeah something like that with uh, uh, 1.5 diameter I'm going to uh, cut it as you see uh, the only thing to we need to do now creating one uh, pattern uh, curve I'm creating a composite curve translating this curve into one plane and cutting in this point 